I believe you first started as a screenplay writer and then moved to direction. Well, I started to study. Well, I didn't have much choice because uh, I was... Uh, I wanted to enter the uh, university to study the theatre direction and uh, I was not accepted and uh, so I applied to whatever was left to apply in September. And it was uh, film school for the screenwriting and uh, I was accepted. And of course then, you know, four years at the school was enough for me to fall in love with, with the movies because, you know, you see endless movies and you talk till five in the morning, you know, in the local pub with all the college students. And uh, so then I, when I graduated, I wrote about two screenplays which were made by other directors and I, I became, you know, dis disillusioned because not that the films were bad or better or what I thought, but they were different. They were different. So I, I tried to, uh, you know, direct them myself, the next screenplay. And that's uh, how I ended up directing movies. Which school were you at? I was at the FAMU, which is a film academy in Prague, at the Academy of Musical Arts, you know, at the University of Prague. Was there a lot of competition to get into a school like that, like there is now, or...? What? Was there a lot of competition? Was it hard to get into a school like that? Well, it's, uh, it was... Uh, I don't know how... You know, the school was sort of... Uh, you know, there were a lot of people who wanted to enter the school because, uh, you know, to be a filmmaker for a young man was something very noble and very you know, desirable. But, uh, of course, in the Czechoslovakia country, of the, in then, 14 million people speak on, only speak the language. So you couldn't make, you know, hundreds of films a year. So it was not, uh, it was quite a lot of people who applied and only few who ended up, uh, ended up there. The, dem the dramaturgy, which was screenwriting, was uh, probably the easiest to get in because it was not as glamorous as uh, a director or a cameraman or producer, you know. So I got there, I got uh, in the screenwriting division. And which year are we talking about and what was the political climate like? I entered the school in 1950 and I graduated in 1955, which was probably the most uh, hard, you know, left-wing communist kind of uh, period in Czechoslovakia. But in that, uh, like, for example, you, you, you just realize before the war in uh, Czechoslovakia, about or around 30 f full length features were made for the country of 14 million people. You know, after the communists took over in 1948, in the 50s, two or three films were made. That was all. And yet the school was producing graduates, you know. And that was uh, very interesting because, you know, every year, three, four new student directors, you know, came out of the school. So around 1960, uh, when, you know, the Sta Khrushchev, you know, denounced Stalin and a little bit of thaw became uh, re relevant. So suddenly we were like 30, 40 young filmmakers without work, standing in front of the doors of the Barandov studio, wanted to work, you know. And uh, so when finally Khrushchev declared that we have to give some opportunities to young people, we have to trust them, the door opened a little bit and we all just went in. So suddenly we were like, uh, we started like 15, 20 new filmmakers in, you know, the early 60s. And uh, so, you know, that was when Vera Chytilova started, Jan Niemetz, I did, uh, Ivan Passer, Jaromil Jiresz, uh, Ewald Schorm, a lot of... And all these, these films were uh, immediately, of course, under very harsh scrutiny of the old-timers, old-time communist uh, censors, you know. And, uh, but what saved us was uh, international film festivals. Because all, suddenly the, the scouts for the film festivals in Locarno, in uh, Venice, in Cannes, in the New York Film Festival, came and chose these films, our films. So it was uh, not as easy to uh, ban them and to put them, you know, uh, on the side. And uh, 
that's how you know the Czech, so-called Czech New Wave survived. While you were at film school, what kind of films? Which were they showing American films or government-approved films? When when you were at school, we have seen a lot of films, which was wonderful because that's that was the main source of information to watch movies. Mostly, we were, of course, fed with the new Soviet movies and films from uh, communist countries, but also uh, the companies from all over the world were still sending to the Czech film export, uh, offering them buy films. And sometimes these films ended up at school being uh, screened only for the students. So we saw not much American movies. That was almost no-no. But we saw Italian movies, we saw French movies, you know, we saw uh, South American movies, Mexican movies, you know, and that was very, very inspiring.